When pain hit at the pump, Alex Larson got in bed with big oil. In 2021, he only went to half his daughter's soccer games. When Alex Larson got divorced, his wife got primary custody of their kids. Rep Alex Larson, not good enough for his family, not good enough for Nevada. Paid for by Patriots Against Alex Larson. If you think your life is kind of weak, or maybe your wife is past her peak, want a new car and jewelry, give us a call the Illuminati. Thank <laughs> you. Way to start a Monday. Not at all. A little retirement cake. And it's good too. Cake. Cake. Anyway. Bro, anything exciting this weekend? What's up, Weddy? At a church? Yeah, bro. No. Yeah. Old or new? Old as shit, bro. Like, bricked out, bro. Like, Columbus type shit, bro. It's crazy. Bro! Statues? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Hey. Badass organ, though, bro. Illuminati call center. This is Dad. How can I help you? Yeah, I need to talk to someone about my contract. There has to be some sort of mistake. Okay, I can definitely help with that. I see you're authenticated. What seems to be the problem? Well, I, I guess... I just want to make sure I'm getting all my benefits. Hmm, let me see here. Yeah, it looks good on our side. What's going on? Man, I'm still doing these horrible acting gigs. I mean, it pays the rent, but I see. Like, you should see what I'm wearing right now. It's, it's rough. Hmm. Did you take the BVE option? Uh, sir? B, D, E, beta, delta, echo? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes I did. Well, our BDE option is our most popular and most expensive. Well, I mean, it's not that fucking big. I don't know, maybe you try adult film acting? Yeah, I, I got you. Well, I appreciate the information and help, I guess. You bet. Anything else I can help with today? Nah, all good, thanks. So the wedding, bro, did you get him a gift? Yeah, just got him like a protein shake, like juicer type nice. thing. Nice, <laughs> Should have got him a rectum though, bro. I'm already sensing some issues going on. <laughs> 
Illuminati call center. This is Kip. What's up, man? It's Harlow. Oh, hey, Jack. Uh, I see you are authenticated. Yeah, just reaching out. Wanted to say thanks to you guys. No, no, like I told you, we we appreciate that. No, like anyone could do this. It's really unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's a really good contract. Like, they don't even care. I have zero rhythm skills at all. Yeah, yeah, like you said, it's it's quite unbelievable. I don't even have to finish sentences, bro. I'm in the sex in the throw up the... You know you have your own direct account rep you can call, right, Jack? I met Drake, bro. I don't even play basketball. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks, Jack. Anything I can help with? Yeah, write a song. Okay, bye, bro. Love you guys. All right, Jack. Illuminati Call Center. This is Kip. Hi, Kip. Hi. I see you are not authenticated. Are you a current customer? No, actually, I was hoping to get some information about joining. Okay, yeah, I can definitely help with that. What questions do you have? Well, how does it work? How do you know what you'd be signing up for? Great question. So there's a few variables. Uh, what you bring to the table kind of soul contract, uh, what you're trying to get out of it, if you do anything special. Uh, we also have a referral program that you take advantage of. There's a bundle package available. Um, you know, say if you're, if it's the soul and sacrifices. So what do you mean bring to the table? Well, are you, you know, do you bring something special? Are you a judge or a doctor, politician? You know, things like that. Um, athlete or entertainer too, but those are really tough right now. Oh, okay. So do I have to like, watch a sacrifice or what? Well, the actual soul contract will, will outline what you will receive for your soul. Um, and we reserve those other details until we have your blood signature. <laughs> Is it painful? Well, again, we don't really get into that prior, but I, but I will say, um, if tattoos didn't hurt, everybody would have one, right? Well, it sounds interesting. Uh, what do I do next? Well, we send your info you entered when you called into our sales team, and someone will reach out here momentarily to discuss all the details and, and set up next steps. Uh, would you like me to send that? Mm, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sent. Anything else I can help with today? No, you, you've been great. I appreciate all the help. Yeah, you bet. Uh, maybe I'll see you on the team down the road. Thanks. Bye. You know, man, I hope the new boss lets us keep the nap pods. Right? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, Peter was cool like that. He was. The snack bar? Snack bar, bro. The coffee bar, bro. Uh... The Night Call Center. This is Dad. What's up, help? bro? It's Harlow again. Hey, Jack. Uh, I see you're authenticated. I'm freaking mad. I'm calling to complain. Like, what the heck, man? No, I'm just Josh and bro. It's freaking awesome. Uh, that's great. Anything I can help with? I am living life fed. Write a song. Uh, all right, Jack. Well, thanks for calling. Hey, you guys need some uh, hard load chicken, baby? I can send it over right now. Um, actually, we have an all hands work meeting that I think we're we are eating at. Bummer, man. Okay, maybe tomorrow. Uh, that's not necessary, Jack. Hey, do you guys want to come over? 
Okay, goodbye, Jack. I was thinking we could hang out, play video. Well, let's go find out who our new CEO is. Bro. Hey, Fight Fans, don't forget to order the big pay per view fight tonight. You won't want to miss it. Highly anticipated fight, Keith. You never know what history could be made. No, last pay per view fight was historic. I am here with the winner and new welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. I know what you're thinking. How did this man even win? Everyone doubted me, and you had every right to. <laughs> I really don't deserve to be here. I was ready to walk out the ring. I didn't even want to be here anymore. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. I want you to take a look at something on the screen. I'm from the trenches. Were there moments you were doubting? Powerful, powerful words. Powerful, powerful words. There is no pound for pound. Belt belongs to nobody. That's it. When you knew you did it, what was that like? And I know, I know what you're thinking. This man's British. I'm gonna show you how British I really am when I say, boom! More truth for your head top. Shoot him up, shoot him up, bang, bang. Kill short. Trenches. The new welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. Look at me now. Look at me now! Look at me now! So in 2018, my grandmother, she was giving away stuff, and each grandkid got to pick something out. Oh, and this piece intrigued you? No, my brothers and sisters thought it'd be funny to get me something, like, not cool, like this painting. Ah, uh, do you know anything about the painting? No, uh, I didn't see a signature down here, so... Yes, yes, so, the artist is Charles Vandele. No signature is completely in line with that. He doesn't sign his paintings. Uh, he was born in 1955 in Manhattan, went to the New York Art Institute, then, then studied abroad, came back and started a gallery in Charleston, which he actually ran until a few years ago uh, with his passing. Oh, okay. Yeah, my grandmother, she lives in Charleston. Oh, interesting. So he was known for this like crazy lifestyle, uh, wild drug fueled parties and orgies, and you could see the house from from the up on the hill uh, with, with comings and goings all hours of the day and night. Uh, it was very very taboo for the time, uh, as they got quite naughty. So at one point he met a woman who fell madly in love and wanted to give all his love to her, give up the lifestyle. He gave her multiple proposals, all of which she rejected. She just liked the drugs and the, the men and the sex too much, uh, and the women, quite frankly. So, what we have here, so in the midst of this despair, he painted to this to show what he was feeling with all these demons of spirits circling his true love and, and taking her virtue uh, uh, repeatedly. Uh, it's oil on canvas, and uh, as we spoke about, the no signature. It's classic Vandalay stroke technique. You can see it from a mile away. Uh, you can almost feel the heartbreak coming from the canvas and the conflict as he watches his love just be with everybody and, and anybody. Uh, it's one of his most famous paintings still to this day because it it resonates with so much many people and so much pain. And it's called The Curse of Gabriella. 
It's one of his finer paintings. Wait, what? Uh, what you have here is a mid-career. My wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. My grandma Gabby gave me this painting. Grandma Gabby. Yeah. Did your grandmother know Charles? What? I I hope not. <laughs> Quite right. Quite right. Um. Well. I would place a value on this at auction, conservatively, uh, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Um, are you talking shit about my grandma? Yeah, man. So I was uh, going to a garage sale, looking for a table. There's some guys there, man, and they were like, "Shit, man, you can take this table." take all this other stuff and I was like shoot I'll give it to you for 20 man they're like man take it for 10 and I'm like all right man and they had all this stuff in there so so are you familiar with Zab's Labs or Beaker TV nah man G becoming future nah I must have missed that one so becoming future is a masterpiece of videography and storytelling mixed together it's from the Zabs Lab studio out, out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. They've also done Father and Son Corner. They've also done Five Zabs. Too many good titles to, to even talk about. Becoming Future is this story about how a chance encounter with a stranger sends a man on this fantastic journey to become a disciple of the baddest rapper on the planet, Future. Yeah, man, I must have missed that one. Yeah. Oh, their videos get hundreds of views uh, consistently. When I first saw your certificate, I was like, oh, that's a nice print. And then as I got closer, I said, oh, that's interesting. And then when I finally got it up here, I was like, like, watch your step because I just lost my shit. So we'll start up here. What you have here is the certificate of completion after he finishes all his tasks that he's assigned. Very important. You'll see most certificates are a signature. Well, but this one's thumbprints. Well, why is that? Well, this is significant because Future talks about uh, the thumb in the butt. So it's, it's actually quite humorous. We also have the notes where you see them putting together the whole thought process. And, and like, you see over here tech and beans, but yet in the real videography, that didn't make it there. So you see ideas here that didn't even make it into the video. It's just crazy. And then you see scratches out, like around a make her pee. Oh, maybe there was some discussion there. Uh, which is code for squirting? Then we have the kilo of cocaine, which is from the second drug deal in the story, a very pivotal moment of the of the video. Uh, yeah, man. I'll check and see if it was real, bro. It's just powdered sugar, though, man. <laughs> I retaped it. I hope I hope it doesn't mess anything up. Yes, we like to keep them in their original state. Um, we also have then you have this certificate which we're all used to seeing the one that, that's completely filled out. And here's one without the thumbprints, which it's just so crazy to see that. And the Theo's right there. You see Adderall notches, make her pee, thumb in her butt. We are holding history in our hands right here. Yeah, man, you, I like your vibe, bro. You can keep it, man. I would definitely keep them as a group. Um, I, well, I would probably sleep with them, to be honest, you know. Um, but, but anyway, as a group, it's such value to a true collector to see the thought process. Now, nothing like this has ever come up for auction before. I checked with my counterparts out back. We believe, conservatively, at a well-advertised auction, this would be worth seventy-five to a hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, man. It's quite fantastic. It's not really what I was expecting, man. But shoot, you guys can keep it, man. For ten. Mm -hmm. What's up, Dad? Hey, son. How are things going? They're going good. I just don't have that drive in. Let me guess. 
less energy too. Why, why don't you have any energy? You never. You always. You, where'd all your energy go? Whoa, Bill Burr. You gotta keep your youth. Whoa, Cat Williams too. It's like I say all the time. One day you're fine, and, and, and then and then you wake up, and you're like, what's wrong with my life? Pimp in the streets. Pimp in the streets. You have that issue too. We got a lot of issues. We need to use erecting. It helps with everything. Everything? Everything. Sounds oh, good. What do you think, Dad? And if you have a lady in your life, she'll like it too. I mean, she'll some find something else to complain about. Like, uh. What, what? Why don't you want to talk more? Did you? I feel like we should talk more. I feel like we should talk all the time. What the fuck? Wow. How do you think I keep it pimping? Pimping? Get yourself a ball. Okay. I'll think about it. I don't know yet. Uh, let me uh, wrap this up. Let's do add the wood carry the wood. Good evening from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The stars are out, the crowd is gathering. Welcome to Beaker Force Fight Night. I am Keith Watson. Joined with me tonight, the one and only Eric Maxwell. Excited to be here tonight, Keith! Exciting fight coming up! Yes, we have two fighters who really want it, and it's evenly matched. The build-up has been intense, the crowd is excited. Let's look at the tail of the tape and see our matchup for tonight. Vlad coming in at 41 years of age, trying to stay above even for his career. Tough road ahead, but he does have the height advantage and all that experience advantage. And it's trouble if he gets you on the ground. Rico sees this as his chance to make an impact on a big stage. And he brings the reach advantage and those devastating leg kicks. An up and coming force to be reckoned with. Vlad grew up in such a poor neighborhood, it's really made him tough. Hmm, hmm. Now Rico grew up as an orphan. It was pretty tough himself. Well, young Vlad would do carjackings just so he could go train. Yeah, Rico had to do Orphan Fight Club at the age of six just to get a bunk for the night. Well, Vlad actually was forced to fight in war at the age of 12 and single-handedly rescued six other soldiers who were held captive. Hmm. 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 Rico's biological mom found him at the age of 10 and his foster parents shot her thinking she was a burglar. Grow up fast. Well, at the age of 15, Vlad was fishing for food and for his family so they could survive and he was actually attacked by a shark, which he ended up saying about it. It was either my family or it was the shark. I had no choice. What a tough guy. In 2010, a plane carrying Rico's baseball team crashed in the ocean, he was the only survivor. He also set up a charity for airplane crash survivors uh, as well. Good guy, real good guy. Well, Vlad's mom died of an overdose right before his very first professional fight. And he has dedicated his career to her memory. Also, he has raised his six brothers and sisters ever since that day. Rico overdosed himself, actually, and was legally dead for 16 minutes. Uh, saw the other side. Took him two years to teach himself to walk again. He's unstoppable. Vlad's mother also was a prostitute when he was a young child, and he honed his fighting skills from defending her very many times. 
Rico himself was a prostitute. He was actually saved from Epstein Island in 2017. It's also when he got his nickname, Pretty Ricky. Vlad, at the age of 14, was in prison and stabbed four prisoners with a fence post. And that's when he became Vlad the Impaler. Well, Keith, it should make for an interesting fight tonight. Yes, for sure, Eric. Grab your popcorn. You won't want to miss it. Tu pa' tu.